we have just signed for I'll let you say it an, an allotment, allotment. <laughs> those vegan guys I thank you Hello again, welcome back to vlog 25 of plot 25. So it's kind of significant. I'll do it again. Um, my hands do There's a funny smell coming from our shed today. We're not sure what it is. Well, you say it's the plastic. I think it's the plastic tunnel that we put out and then we put back in. Uh, because of course the birds, uh, the bees, the birds and the bees, the bees need to get to our flowers to or do this somebody so you be this is the thing about the internet one person has said in the comments oh you need bigger holes on those strawberry plants otherwise the bees can't get in and pollinate the flowers yet one of our friends on the allotment here has says I, I said I always cover my strawberries bees don't pollinate them and they still come so we're wondering now should we put them back if you're an avid gardener let us know below and if there's at least five comments the same <laughs> we'll, we'll work it on an app because anyone can say anything on the internet of can't they it's like of course we don't know our first strawberry which was ready has been half eaten no doubt by a bird pretty sure it was a bird very annoyed about that so we've left it there on the bed but we're wondering now should we cover the strawberries back up i nearly took it the other day do the well. flowers need pollinating by the bees or are they self-pollinating strawberry flowers these are important questions that need answering and we'd love you to help us <laughs> um it, it looks like it's gonna rain today it's gonna rain today is friday the 18th of june 2021 uh, Salad Street's looking amazing, we'll show you. Yes. Uh, that soon. Um, the potato plants are massive. Ma we're still, it's still very slow in the greenhouse with the tomatoes. Yeah. Uh, very few of the tomatoes plants have got flowers on them. We're like, what have we done wrong here? Yeah, can we? Tomatoes. They all look healthy. We'll show you. Yeah. We'll, sh we'll show you all these bits. Um, We've got some new bits to go up today mm -hmm. uh, on the wall and a new gorgeous strawberry planter which we'll show you uh, and if you want to know who goes what check out the live unboxing vlog we did last night which was my birthday <laughs> and it was no it was lovely though it was really lovely it was yeah it was just gorgeous it was nice to do an unboxing it was nice to have all our vegan fam there 
celebrating with us, you know, raising the glasses and such. It was bloody lovely, in fact, is what it was. Bumblebee was just checking out the strawberry planters because they're so colourful. Well, we need to get some more, I need to buy some more strawberry plants now to, to, to go in there. Yes. And some compost, obviously. Uh, so many radishes ready to pick in Salad Street. Um, should pick a few today on camera actually yeah uh, uh, because Sunday when we're having a picnic we don't know whether the, go the weather's good enough to have it down here true it might end up being at home mm -hmm. uh, but that's fine too um, let's show you a look around and uh, and, and you can see the um, the vastness of it all bit of a progress update visually yes Shall we walk off separately? Oh, well, I'll follow you. With drama. I'll follow you. You do the drama, I'll walk off normally, sensibly. <laughs> <laughs> Change my mind. I got, I got lured in. I got lured into the drama. I'm glad you did. Hi, just as a quick addendum to our, after our introduction on vlog 25, there's lovely Gizmo. Come to visit again. I love. I love and we've got some netting over Salad Street and I've just picked our first radish there she is I'm so impressed with that radish it's fabulous that's why oh gizmo you're gonna be filthy <laughs> and there's the lovely gizmo oh. Oh. Be careful Tom, Tom Katz <laughs> what, what are you doing look at you Plot 25 in the evening. All right, lads, get on with the vlog. Hi, welcome <laughs> to the greenhouse. Uh, so as you can see, here's our tomato plants. Uh, they're all nice and girthy. They're all very green and healthy. Well, most of them are. Uh, we've got flowers on a couple of them. Uh, we just don't know, are they too close together? Do they need repotting again into a bigger pot? Um, if anyone can help us out with advice there, that would be fantastic. The, if you look underneath here, Jason, the chilies, some of the chilies are starting to flower. Uh, they're definitely better with more sunlight on them. They're, they're working a lot better there. Sorry, Paula's having a hard time focusing because there's so much in shot. Uh, Betty's stopped. Betty's produced one baby green tomato and then stopped. So she were all cocky in our house. Look at me, look how long I can get daddies. And then she just stopped. So yeah, that's a bit uh, a bit upsetting. Hmm. However, all these brassicas are going well. Uh, we need to get those trays from home, put the soil in. Yes. Um, lemony Brenda. She's just amazing. She's got no fruits on yet, but she's green as hell. And she smells amazing. She does, doesn't yeah, she? Yeah, incredible. Like lemon balm. Beautiful, just beautiful. And, oh, this is more brassicas. And actually these are uh, icicle radishes. So when we harvest some of the standard radishes we'll put them in their place mm -hmm. and hopefully get some nice big icicle ones we've got some kalets and some amico h come come i'll show you more sweet corn and runner beans got like three sweet corn plants and they seem to be doing really quite well they've settled in well mm -hmm. and the beans are doing great we've got loads of pea pods on one of those uh, pea plants in fact let's show them that jay <laughs> luke look at the pea pods luke that one feels ready jason i know to pick well you know what be rude not to Have a look. Yeah. Oh. Get some of them in your gob, Jay. Can you put them on the palm of your hand so I can see them? Oh, there we go. Let me get them all out. Mm. 
four for Jason, four for Paul. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Our first peas. Yeah. Oh. Oh man, the beautiful, sweet, delicious, beautifulness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> they're gorgeous. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> mm. um, salad street. Can the camera see through there all right, Jay? Yeah, I think so. So these are supposed to be Napa cabbages, but they've got mm. dead big and like wide and massive. I thought they grew like you know, like Napa cabbage does. Like a, a more sort of taller and... Taller and tighter. Yeah. Um, sprout plants. Uh, we've got purple sprouting broccoli. It doesn't seem to be doing so well. Uh, there's a lot of broccoli there and black kale mm. there as well. Here we've got rocket and chard. Then we've got three um, perpetual spinach and two rows of spinach and then <sighs> taking this off to water anyway won't we later yeah <sighs> we come down here Jay people can see all of the fats I'm gonna pull one. Oh yeah fantastic that's a very respectable sized uh, radish that as it's well it's a beautiful isn't it? little radish absolutely perfect we had our first one the other night and she was delicious um, and then all this is lettuces different varieties of lettuces we're gonna to have to start pulling some of that soon as well I know. and start getting it eaten uh, for that is why we're growing things <laughs> one observation of course is we packed stuff into salad street pretty tightly um, so that's another reason to start picking stuff is to make room isn't there yeah, yeah, yeah. just to you know yeah uh, berries look at this look at this so there's all these blueberries and uh, red currants and stuff already just you know start turning into fruits them two at the back there let me just show them above blueberry what jason's going to show you now how delightful when polly likes to play ball versus when polly doesn't like to play ball <laughs> is she being rubbish yeah she's getting confused with the mulch in the background oh. But the peas looked fabulous, in focus and lovely. Um, strawberry plants, this is the strawberry. It was on this plant here, and as you can see it's been eaten. And uh, it wasn't quite ready yesterday, was it Jay? Not quite. Uh, so we said oh we'll leave it on there. She's full of strawberries, this one here. Right proud of her. Uh, look at potato place. Oh sorry. It's alright. I'm rushing ahead. Look at this, potato place, so they're starting to flower now and then of course when the flowers start to wilt and you know die off and the wheel, the leaves start to yellow and brown we'll know the potatoes are done and ready. Um, how long do you leave onions in for guys? We don't know. Good question. <laughs> so if you know that let us know that as well will you because um, Obviously these are all doing really really well and at some point we know they'll be ready for harvesting We just need to know when <laughs> At this level it just looks like a, a some kind of forest <laughs> But and yeah plenty to go at And then finally Jason are close upon Gord Grove Look at Gord Grove she's doing really well and of course it is all gourds, it's um, courgettes, uh, cucumber, or no, courgettes, butternut squash, uh, cucumber, Patterson's panache mm -hmm. and blue hubbard. Yes. All in there. It's fantastic. So hopefully we'll get quite a few um, courgettes off these, 
off these two babies they seem to be doing very very well they're growing well the flowering that's exactly what we want plot 25 man is success sally the radish will be eaten tonight does that sound awful sounded ominous it's true though a bit like the weather today <laughs> ominous and i'm going to try um radish greens as well uh jason when we've picked like a big bunch of these uh-huh uh, yeah just, yeah i'm just gonna steam them i'm gonna steam them maybe with some thinly sliced onion whilst we're on this little tour of the allotment do you want to show people the planter yeah this one yeah so this is the new strawberry planter uh, there's room for 15 strawberry plants in there uh, she's very light but she slots together easily and of course once the weight's in there with the soil and mm -hmm. the plants she's gonna look gorgeous just placed somewhere you know ties in very nicely with the uh with the all shed, the colors and also from tessa who bought us the multicolored pots yes um thanks tessa you're a ledge um what else did i want to show for oh little insect house from ashley staple gun from dorcas and michael i've got that right i think so Docs is the one who posts the most. Yes. Which is definitely going to come in handy. Oh, it's going to come in so handy. Not for just for putting the new stuff up, but also for stopping the existing ones from curling due to the temperatures and the weather and the inclement. The words he says make sense. Hear them. Do you hear what I said? Inclementness. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I enjoyed it. You know, others might not, Jay. That's all I'm saying. Uh, well, I've got to do the boring bit now and get on with some weeding because we need to get on top of it and we've been neglecting it for a couple of days yeah well we both do don't we so let's get on with shh let's get on with it oh it's a it's a, a short bit here today no well it's not a short bit we gave you a tour we've just spent about an hour and a half weeding literally just weeding as much as we can uh, it's probably the biggest job on an allotment uh, that nobody talks about. I'd say so. Bloody yeah. weeding. Yeah, and we've However, probably only done about half. Harvested these four little beauties um, just because they all looked quite big and I thought, right, let's get them out. And uh, harvested a bit of rhubarb as well. So this is, I suppose, the first official harvest. It's the first official harvest. Four radishes and three sticks of rhubarb. So I said to Jason, I'll make some nice radish and rhubarb soup when we get home. I won't. Please don't. <laughs> we're, going to, uh, we're just going to eat the radishes as as are. I might try and make um, a pesto with the greens. Have you got enough there? for a pesto well i'll put them in the fridge and when we have a s'more on sunday or saturday i'll add that to it and and we'll try some steamed as well because if they're meant to be so nutritious i'm all up for eating nutrition yes so we'll be back saturday we'll be back sunday and you'll be seeing all of this clumped together into one gorgeous little vlog edited by this gorgeous man on monday regardless of the <laughs> weather we're down here anyway thank you mister by the way Pretty gorgeous self too. Oh, thanks. Um, yeah, regardless of the weather, we're going to be down here anyway. Um, but there is a storm brewing. The grey and black clouds yeah. are coming in thick and fast. Uh, so we're going to have a little spray. We're going to water in the greenhouse. And then uh, we're going to go home and uh, we'll be live at 9 o'clock uh, on that there YouTube. Uh, As we're filming this on Friday, you'll be yeah. seeing this way beyond. Yes. But yeah, we're live uh, tonight, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Have a nice dinner and then go live. Yeah. Um, we're having uh, scrambled toffee veggie pitters tonight. <sighs> Love that. See you tomorrow or Sunday. <laughs> Hiya, second day. Different blouse, same one. Am I right? I don't know. Did you have that on yesterday? No. Ah. Today. <laughs> <laughs> Today is our anniversary. Just in case you didn't know. It's the 19th of June. Yeah, today is Saturday the 19th of June, so it's our uh, it's our second filming day here. Uh, everything's looking fabulous. Loving it still. We're going to do some more weeding today and we're going to put some bits up 
that we got in our last unboxing. Um, I think I already mentioned that yesterday uh, and linked it. If I didn't, it's there. It's there. That little eye up there, click it and all the videos I mentioned will come up and you'll see them. Uh, so first and foremost, happy anniversary, Jess. Happy anniversary. Mm. We will be back down here again tomorrow with the fam, or part of the fam, on both sides, mm -hmm. um, having a picnic. We, assured, we are assured by the Met Office that tomorrow is a dry day. That's good. Uh, so we are game on for family picnic at plot 25, vlog 25, We've put the chilies on the top shelf in the greenhouse. As Paul said, we're going to probably spend 20 minutes, half an hour doing a bit of weeding now. Pop up some more stuff in the shed with the new fancy stapler that we've got. Um, yeah, that, that's probably it, isn't it? Yeah. I'm and right. have a think about protecting the berries. We're going to I'm right comfy. Are you comfy? Yeah, I'm kind of, I'm stood, you know, with a gated leg. I've, I've got all my hair in my eyes and my face. Tie it up, you big woman. I will. <laughs> Should we crack on? Onward! <laughs> Somebody thought of that Till someone believed it Look what it's done so far fun pulling all that out the ground that was the best fun fun <laughs> we're going to try our new stapler again uh, unboxing vlog 8 yes Liz want to looking up there like that do you see careful where you put the staple in her crown Right in a crown, so you can't see it. That's okay. Anywhere else, and it would have been treason. Hello again from Singapore. L.
Oh, this is so much easier. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We we'll apologise if the noise is slightly abrasive. Massachusetts. Doris. The lovely Doris. <sighs> and this lovely sketch. Ah. Oh. oh, coming a bit closer. Oh no, that's not helped at all. Oh, no. <laughs> You'll be able to see when it's on the wall. Might put that there. It's gonna need two, I think. One in each corner. Yeah. Hey, staple gun's a legend. Excellent. Brilliant. Oh, I'll move. <laughs> yeah. Lovely. Lovely. Building up. Yes. Send us more lovely things for the walls of our shed. You will find our P.O. Box address below. Postcards. We love a postcard from your part of the world. We can only see your mouth. With, with a little message on the back. We love a postcard. Want that back wall full of postcards from people all over the world. Giving us good wishes, that'd be nice. Jay, I'm going to be honest, I'm nearly done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to go home and have a beer with my husband on our anniversary. Yes. You know what I mean? Shall we water before we go? We'll water and then we'll get gone. Okay. Monkey dog. That plot 25 to an end here because we've got our lovely parents here and we've got a lovely picnic planned and we're gonna make that into a separate vlog because <clears throat> it'd be rude not to absolutely when all said and done yes uh, but I know Jason has done a stellar job on this vlog showing you old shots and new shots uh, capturing the same angles and things haven't you you're bigging me up here I'm, 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 I've, I'm seen the, I've seen the work I've seen the work uh, so yeah we're gonna have a picnic watch out for the picnic vlog uh, coming very soon thank you so much for watching love you Mr Bromley love you mm. uh, love you guys uh, we'll see you again soon and until then please be excellent to yourselves and each other